So we use KSM 66 ashwagandha. That is really the gold standard. I believe there's 22 human clinicals now, so which are quite amazing. And they, they go the gamut, you know, from stress, sleep, anxiety, libido, testosterone boosting, exercise, endurance, cardiovascular functioning. So again, that's why we recommend you don't start out with 10 capsules a day. Uh, we really want people to start out with the lowest minimum effective dose and then move up higher if necessary. We also have L-glycine in there and L-glycine is an amino acid that has been clinically studied. Interesting for, it's actually a large part of collagen, the largest amino acid in the collagen structure. But in this particular formula at 3000 milligrams, it's been clinically studied to help you fall asleep and also take away the side effects of sleep deprivation the next day. Welcome everyone to this episode of the Healthy Habit Podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Dayan, and today we have a, a former guest of Healthy Habit Radio, 1100 KFNX. You remember doing that, Joyce? I do. Amazing. So this is Joyce's first time Joyce Moran of, of U Theory, and she's the training and education manager there at U Theory. She has 18 years in sales and education in the natural products industry, and the last six years she's been employed at U Theory with a focus on training and innovation. And as a certified health coach from the Institute of Integrative Nutrition and former health teacher for her passion is to inspire wellness in and all through education. Joyce, welcome to your first time here on Healthy Habit Podcast. Ah, oh, thank you so much for having me. I'm excited. So today we want to talk about stress, ashwagandha, sleep products. and But before we even go there, tell us a little bit about you theory It's actually our first podcast episode with this awesome company out of Irvine, California. Tell us about you theory Joyce. Yeah, absolutely. So we've been in business since 2010. Uh, we started out, our main focus was collagen and turmeric and the United States. And then we've grown into more of a lifestyle brand. I love that we create um, everything in our facility in Irvine, California. So we have 100% control and transparency over the entire process. Um, we do go around the world to seek and search for the you know, branded premium raw materials so that they have clinical evidence so that we know our products are going to work for people. Um, and we always make sure in our in our products uh, that we use clinical dosing or above. So that's that's like a very main part of our platform, um, just the innovation and then this extensive testing really uh, above and beyond what people are doing in the industry to make sure that what we what we actually have on shelf for you guys to have in your store or what people are taking, um, that it's going to work and it's going to be right. safe and effective. Yeah. Amazing. And you can go to utheory.com folks to follow along. Mm -hmm. That's you like Y O U theory, T H E O R Y U theory.com. Let's segue then into the topic of stress. You know, there's actually right now it's cardiovascular month. We're recording this in February of 2023. Stress plays a major role in heart attacks and strokes mm -hmm. and, Infl inflamed arteries and high blood pressure and and all that. Tell us a little bit about your thoughts on stress and maybe how it connects to heart health. Oh yeah, well ev everything you said right there um, is has a hundred percent impact. You know, stress huge impact um, on cardiovascular health and and just your ability to perform things on a day to day basis. You know, I see it it goes into so many different levels of things in your bodies, but since it is heart month and we're focusing on cardiovascular health, you know, we want to make sure that our arteries are clean and that we, you know, have really good nitric oxide levels. And, you know, you can do those through healthy eating, but you can also do some of that through correct supplementation as well. Amazing. So how can ashwagandha play a role in stress? A lot of people have heard of ashwagandha. There's different forms. There's different companies that offer it. Tell us about this herb and then how you theories ashwagandha is unique. Okay, sure. Absolutely. So ashwagandha is an adaptogen. And as you know, but for other people, adaptogens have been used traditionally in Ayurvedic medicine for thousands of years with like amazing his historical evidence. Um, 
you know, way beyond we ever where we ever knew about them, even in the United right. States. So ashwagandha in general is one that is really um, has great impact in your body on, on so many things. But one of them is is dealing with stress. And what it can do is um, it can kind of just calm the body down, but it's going to use it's not going to make you tired like another type of adaptogen. Um, one thing, Dr. Didon, that I love about adaptogens are they're non-toxic right. and they're non-habit forming. So when people are, you know, all of a sudden they're realizing their stress levels are, you know, so high that they're having trouble functioning. I was just looking at a study yesterday. You know, I think it said like 20, I forget what percentage of the millennials that are dealing with stress just feel like you know, in, in between this group of like 35, it was actually like between 35 and I think about 44 years old, just every single day feeling like stress is debilitating and they can't manage it. So something like ashwagandha that's coming from the root of the actual plant from Southern India, and I'll talk about that in a moment, that can really have an impact on reducing your serum cortisol levels, reducing the feeling of stress in your body, helping with depression, helping with sleep, all in this one Ayurvedic herb it is a pretty amazing thing. Um, and the great thing is you're not going to be having side effects of and having to spend lots of time going to doctors and right. getting on things that do have side effects and don't necessarily work effectively in everyone's body. So amazing. Uh, so that's a great explanation of ashwagandha, but how can, do you need to take it daily, multiple times a day? What's a good way to approach ashwagandha? Yeah, such a great question. So, um, so we use KSM 66 ashwagandha. That is really the gold standard. I believe there's 22 human clinicals now. So, which are quite amazing and they, they go the gamut, you know, from right. stress, sleep, anxiety, um, libido, testosterone boosting, exercise, endurance, cardiovascular functioning, all of the things we've already been talking about. Um, and at that amount, um, which is what we have in our product, we actually have more than that um, in the actual capsules. We always recommend you start with just taking two capsules um, in the morning, and then you take that for about a week or two and see how you feel. And then if you're still feeling, you know, it's 11 o'clock in the afternoon and all of a sudden you're like, I'm feeling that same level of stress again, you can take two more capsules and then you would take that for like a week or two and see. And then the good thing is you're going to get to a place where one day you're going to wake up and you're going to go, wow, I feel really good. And I'm not waking up with that stress already in my mind, in my body, physical, emotional, whatever. And then you can kind of just stay with that, that dose. Um, okay. They do work more effectively in your body over time. So again, that's why we recommend you don't start out with 10 capsules a day. Uh, we really want people to start out with the lowest minimum effective dose and then move up higher if necessary. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. We start because you don't know how it's going to affect you, right? Someone might feel great mm -hmm. on one and someone might need three to feel those benefits. Mm -hmm. What's a product that can really pair up well with ashwagandha through you, you theory? Maybe it's one of the new sleep products or one that can also address stress or tell us about what would pair well with ashwagandha. Gosh, there's so many options, but, but the, the sleep product, <laughs> the sleep product, you know, since we also know that's a, a huge side effect of people dealing with anxiety and depression and you know, besides the, you know, it used to be all about, you know, you're on your computer too much or you're watching too much TV, but now it's just the the levels of stress are creating difficulty sleeping for people. I think it said like, um, you know, I, I was doing, looking this up, but I think like 11%, and this was like sleephealth.org from 2022, minimum one night a week, one night a month, they can't sleep well, right. but more like 70% have like overall difficulty sleeping almost every single night. So with that being said, having taking, um, you know, safe doses, but effective doses of clinically studied ingredients to help you to fall asleep, stay asleep, and then to wake up and feel good. That's kind of what we did when we uh, created our sleep powder. Um, and that product, 
it works incredibly effectively um, without these side effects that you might get. Um, you know that if you go to a medical person in general, you're going to be recommended to take doses of just melatonin. And they're going to start out at probably not one, one milligram. They're going to probably start out at like three milligrams and they're going to go all the way to about 10. And then all of a sudden you're going to go, well, I'm still not sleeping. It's still not working. Sure. Um, because, and then other people use other things that can cause dependency, lots of side effects. So when the sleep powder was created, it was really created with all those things in mind. So it's a, first of all, magnesium, um, I don't know what percentage do you generally feel the population is regarding magnesium deficiency? I've heard 80 plus percent. That's mm -hmm. that was from a doctor who's a lawyer. He's a JD and an MD. And he wow. wrote a book on magnesium, Dr. Thomas Levi Levy. He oh, said yeah. about 80 plus percent. So a lot, a lot of people are low yes. in magnesium. So significant. So putting magnesium in our body, because we know it has to do with every single cellular reaction of your body. So it's what we call a cofactor or a helper. Right. So if we're at that, if we don't have enough of it, we're not going to, all those things that normally are going on in our body and should work effectively, won't work as effectively. Right. So with that, in, in the sleep powder, we have some magnesium citrate, 200 milligrams, I believe. So it's good to restore your magnesium at night. Um, it's best absorbed into your body then, and everyone needs it. I mean, we all need magnesium every day. We just don't get enough from soils like we used to get back in the day before all the over farming and we were eating healthier. So people can't just rely on foods anymore. And it's so critical to, you know, for stress, first of all, but for so many other things, muscle oh, yeah. cramps, depression, you know, bone, getting calcium into your bones and strength of your bones. So has so many applications. Um, and then we have, what we have in that formula, we have some, um, we have 5-HTP and, mel um, what else do we have? 5-HTP and um, L-tryptophan. Mm -hmm. And L-tryptophan is that amino acid in turkey. So it makes us feel tired. Like when people eat turkey and they all of a sudden right. go, Ooh, I'm exhausted. Yeah. So but the both of those help you just to fall asleep, but they also are precursors to um, the precursors to the um, formation of serotonin in your brain. So we absolutely need that. Serotonin is needed to fall asleep. And when you're depressed or anxious, those levels go down. So that helps to support that. And we also have L-glycine in there. And L-glycine is an amino acid that has been clinically studied. Um, interesting for, it's actually a large part of collagen the largest amino acid in the collagen structure. But mm -hmm. in this particular formula at 3000 milligrams, it's been clinically studied to help you fall asleep and also take away the side effects of sleep deprivation the next day. Because most people, when they're taking a sleep formula, one of the largest complaints is I, I might sleep well at night, but I feel horrible the next day. They call right. it you know, the hangover effect. And we don't want anyone to have that. And then, yes, like right where you're showing us here, we're using a microdose or the physiological dose of melatonin. So being that melatonin is a hormone, right. um, if we take what our body's making, then our body will continue to make it effectively. So we're just kind of supporting our body's own function of it. When you start going to the those recommendations to higher and higher doses, it becomes counterproductive because if we're putting it in there, our body wants to stay in balance. It's going to shut down our body's own production. Wow. So um, in this way, this is kind of like a multi-ingredient formula with really good evidence and, you know, again, clinically studied doses, but at, in a powder um, taken a half an hour before bed mixed in warm water or herbal tea and it really has been very effective for people um, as needed on an as needed basis, like when people are traveling in hotels and things like that, or um, nighttime workers, it's really good for that. People that have, you know, their circadian rhythms are all off because they have to work in the dark and then they sleep during the day. And then also over time to help people 
reset their circadian rhythms who really are dealing with more significant sleep issues. Yeah, and I, if you're following along right now on YouTube, we're at utheory.com. This is their main website here. You can order directly online if you're not in Phoenix, Arizona, or come down to the store if you are in Arizona. And mm -hmm. it's a good community. It's a chance for you to get introduced to our store. People love coming down here. But yeah, you could order directly from utheory.com. And it's called the Sleep Nighttime Powder, Joyce. But you mentioned there's the L-glycine in here, which is a, a chief component in collagen. Remember, collagen is a protein, for those that don't understand that. It's a protein, which is a link of amino acids. And chief of those is L-glycine. So even though it's a sleep product, can we make maybe go on a limb here and say you might be getting some skin benefits, maybe some pain relief if you're achy all the time and you take this in the afternoon? I'm going to say if you say it, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking no medical, your no medical right. advice over here. Right. <laughs> but but I do I know, but I, I know. do know people who take <laughs> the collagen and say they want to take it in the evening because they feel that calming effect of it. So it is it is interesting. It can work both ways. Amazing. So again, that's the sleep nighttime powder. If you're listening on audio right now, you can go to utheory.com and just type in sleep up in the search and you'll see the sleep powder. Sleep as nature intended, folks. This product promotes deep restorative sleep, supports relaxation, promotes rapid onset of sleep, and even the quality of sleep. I think that micro dosing melatonin kind of wisdom or, or theory, hence the name U-theory, I think that's a really smart way to go about it. Then you're not becoming so dependent on that melatonin, right? Any last minute thoughts there on sleep nighttime powder before we kind of give a, a start giving a recap or add any products on board that I want to discuss? Um, no, I think we covered it pretty effectively. Yeah. I mean, I just think, you know, it's, it's interesting that, you know, the impact of, well, the impacts of when you just start looking at it, the impact that stress has on our body in all our different systems, like you're talking about cardiovascular health, for an example, we know ongoing stress is super significant to that. Um, and then not getting enough sleep makes us even more stressed. So you can see how all those things go together. And one of the things that um, I didn't mention, but, you know, they studied this, you know, several years ago, they called it the vicious cycle. And it's all about, you know, the magnesium levels in your body and how much, interestingly enough, depleted magnesium and um, levels of anxiety and um, those both replicate one another. So a lot of times people don't think of just magnesium as like a really good starting point. And again, in the sleep powder, we have magnesium, but if you don't need that, then you can just take magnesium in a well-absorbed form on its own, um, which is also an option. We do have a wonderful product, Relax Magnesium Powder, that includes that as well with some Pharmagaba. So love that and coming out with a new item. So I'll announce it on here, which right. is super exciting. It's not even quite on the market yet, wow. but it's going to be that ashwagandha and it's going to have the pharmagaba. So it'll be the first to market with those two ingredients. Um, and so that in itself to me is going to be just like the ultimate stress formula, anti-stress you know, helping with stress formula and, and all again, using just naturally natural sources, as opposed to using a type of any type of drug that would can have side effects. Um, wow. We heard it here first folks on the healthy yeah. habit podcast directly from Joyce Moran. So yeah. this is going to be just kind of a leveled up more comprehensive stress sleep product or more just stress. It's going to be, it's going to be under the ashwagandha category. So emotional wellness, it's going to have the 600 milligrams of KSM 66, which again is the premium and then 400 extra milligrams of organic ashwagandha root powder and the ginger for absorption and the pharmagaba at a clinical dose. So it's going to be, it's going to be an amazing formula. You're going to get all the benefits. Um, pharmagaba is just such a unique, amazing ingredient. Again, it just puts a break on stress. It calms your brain down, you know, just kind of, so they're all, you know, the interesting thing that I learned, um, Dr. Jajan from Dr. Nick is that when you take a pharmaceutical, it's generally going to work on one pathway. So let's say you take an SSRI, it's going to just increase serotonin in your brain. 
When you take an adaptogen, it works on all the different pathways in your body. So it's really, this is where I get excited. It's really bringing people to that place of homeostasis and balance. And it's really healing. So it's, you know, again, the difference between eating food that's healing or just eating something because it's a quick fix. We want the healing things for our body. We want people to be well over time, not just for today. So I, I, it, I just get excited about these things that we have in our natural toolbox, you know, that are amazing. And um, I'm glad that people are even more interested in, in them now. It's, it's exciting. Amazing. So we also contain other pr- products featured here on U-Theory like collagen, turmeric. We have hyaluronic acid products, probiotics, different vitamins like D3K2 combos, uh, we even have like the men's Sheila Jeet formula through you theory. So this was a perfect intro kind of into yourself, Joyce, your involvement with you, with you theory, the stress and sleep products. What's kind of a good recap at about last three minutes here. What's a good take home? Cause customers, as they're in the store right now, they're hearing us talk about you theory, stress, sleep. So what's a good kind of recap or take home for today? A quick, quick recap, you know, when you're looking for products that have been, you know, clinically studied, uh, so you have that evidence with clinical dosing, that's what you're going to be looking for in formulas, that's what we're able to provide for you. Um, You theory in general does that in all different categories, whether it's the turmeric, the collagen, um, with the Shilajit, you know, we're using the Primavi. So if you're looking for products that are going to work, those are the types of products that you want to be taking. And we can assure you, because we do guarantee that purity, potency, um, and traceability of all our products, which I love to be able to do. And gosh, I'm not sure any other important takeaways, except that, you know, the most important thing is not everything's going to be fixed by a vitamin. Um, We know there's all sorts of other modalities to help like, I love earthing for stress. It's simple. It's free. Just walk along the beach, walk in the grass, does so many great things. So I just encourage people to look at, you know, beyond, you know, food is amazing. Supplements are amazing, but we want to kind of do a comprehensive um, way to healing our bodies. Absolutely. Well said, Joyce. And so what's your current favorite U Theory product maybe that you're using or friends or family or people that you know, or people at the company? What's a current favorite one of yours on your radar for you? I'm going to say I love the Sheila G. Okay. The Sheila Jeet's probably my number one and the most sought out. Um, oh. I do have five kids and Mo- not all of them are on the Sheila. They take a lot of our products. They do the collagen, the extra strength turmeric. They they believe in them. But again, and not just you theory, but they believe in vitamins. Um, I think the ashwagandha and the Sheila Jeet are two winners um, that I take on a daily basis. And I, I never don't want to take Sheila Jeet again. I'll tell you that. Okay. And that's a perfect place to end it right there then. Thank you so much, Joyce Moran, for your time, for coming on the podcast for your first episode. And I can't wait to talk to you again soon and talk all things you theory. Awesome. Thank you so much. You have a great day. Thank you, Joyce. Really appreciate it. All right. Have a good Bye. one. I'm going to be taking my Sheila Jeet. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <Thank you so laughs> Me much. too.